This video is brought to you by MathGalaxy.com. This is our fractions program which covers these topics and here we'll be looking at fraction word problems. As with addition and subtraction with whole numbers, addition and subtraction word problems with fractions involve only one name associated with the numbers. You're adding apples to apples, inches to inches. For example, here if you ran three and a half miles yesterday and five and a quarter miles today, how far did you run? So miles is the name that goes with that number, and miles is the name that goes with that number. And keywords for addition are, as in this case, how far, how much, how many, all together in all, some total. If you're not sure what operation to use with a fraction, word problem, think of a corresponding whole number word problem. For example, if you ran three miles yesterday and five miles today, how far did you run? Well, if the whole number problem is addition, then the fraction word problem is addition. For subtraction, some of the key words are what is the difference, how much more or less, farther, longer, etc sort of the comparative words, the ER words. For example, if you ran three and a half miles yesterday and five and a quarter miles today, how much further did you run today? Or how much more did you run today? And if you're not sure what operation to use, think of a corresponding whole number problem. If you ran three miles yesterday and five miles today, how much further did you run today? Two miles. One case where you need to be careful is if the comparative word is in the information and not in the question. In that case, it may not be subtraction. It may be clear if we look at the whole number equivalent. If you ran three miles yesterday and five miles more today, or five miles further today, how far did you run today? So, three miles yesterday and five miles more or five miles further today is a total of eight miles and that's an addition problem. So if the comparative word is in the question it's probably subtraction but if it's in the information part it may not be and you need to read the problem carefully and it may help to draw diagrams. Every fraction word problem has a corresponding whole number equivalent except one special case and that's when you're taking a part of something. For example, here there are 20 people in your class. If one-fourth of the class went on a trip, how many went? So for these part of problems will always be fraction multiplication if they meet three main conditions. It's a simple fraction, i.e. a fraction less than one followed by of and a number or something that refers to a number. Here the class refers to the 20 people. So one-fourth of 20 is 5. So 5 out of the 20 went on a trip. So you can either have a number here, a noun here referring to a number with the usually, and a pronoun. So like if it said one-fourth of them went on a trip. If it meets all those three conditions, it uh, is a fraction multiplication problem. Of in that case means multiplication. And less uh, often you may see as much or as many. So for example, if you have twenty dollars and I have one-fourth as much, that also means of one-fourth of the twenty dollars would be five dollars. That example was taking a fraction of a group, but you can also take a part of a part, and that's also fraction multiplication. So for example, if one half of your class plays sports, so this is the entire class, and this half 
play sports. And of those, one-fourth are in the band. Not one-fourth of the entire class, but one-fourth of that one-half. So again, in this case, the of means multiplication. One-fourth times one-half is one-eighth. It could also have been phrased as one-fourth of those are in the band. So here you're taking a part of a part. To be a part of part problem, the second part must be a subdivision of the first part. This is not a part of part problem since both parts are referring to the original whole. Alice spends one fourth of her income on food and one half of her income on rent. So both fractions are referring to the original whole income. How much of Alice's income is spent on food and rent? three-fourths. So that's an addition problem. So in this case the ofs don't mean multiplication, or it's multiplication in a trivial sense. One-fourth of a whole is still one-fourth of a whole, and one-half of the whole is still one-half of the whole. So then you have to analyze the question. And also if it says uh, it's not likely to be these part of problems. So like, if you ran one-fourth of a mile yesterday and one-half of a mile today, you would have run a total of three-fourths of a mile. So of a generally doesn't mean multiplication. It is, uh, a means one. So one-fourth times one mile is still one-fourth mile. It's, again, multiplication in a trivial sense. Aside from the part of part problems, every fraction word problem has a whole number equivalent. The addition and subtraction ones are easier. They just involve one name. You're adding apples to apples, inches to inches. Multiplication and division are the hardest to distinguish from each other. But multiplication and division word problems involve two names. For example, here, if one can weighs two and a half pounds, how much will one and a half cans weigh? So the two names are cans and pounds. And the structure of multiplication and division problems, as with whole numbers, is uh, there are three things. You have the value for one thing, the number of things, and the total for all of them. It's a multiplication problem if you know the value for one thing and the number of things. So you're given the value for one thing and ask for the value for more than one thing. If you're not sure what operation to use, think of a whole number equivalent. If one can weighs two pounds, how much will ten cans weigh? The whole number problem it gives you two times ten or twenty pounds. So if the whole number problem is multiplication, the fraction problem is multiplication. With fractions, the multiple can also be a fraction. If one can weighs two-thirds pounds, how much will one-half a can weigh? Again, if you're not sure, think of the whole number equivalent. If one can weighs two pounds, how much will ten cans weigh? But it's again here, you're given the value for one thing one can is two-thirds a pound. And then you're given the number of things. There are two types of division problems. Uh, in one type you're looking for this multiplier and in the other you're looking for this multiplier. Here if you have three-fourth pounds of food to be shared among three dogs, how much will each get? This is the inverse of the multiplication problem. Instead of being given the value for one thing and ask for the value for multiple things, you're given the value for multiple things and ask for the value for one of them. So if you set it up in the multiplication format, you can just uh, put in the numbers that you know and see what you don't know. For example, three-fourths pounds of food. So that goes in the total. The three is the number of things. That goes there. 
So it tells you you're looking for the value for one thing, which is a division problem. In the fraction format, it would be 3 fourths divided by 3. And if you're not sure of the operation, think of an equivalent whole number problem. If you have 30 pounds of food to be shared among three dogs, how much would each get? Well, that's a total of 30 divided three ways, so that would be 10 pounds. So you would set it up, 10, 30 divided by 3 is equal to 10. So in division problems, order matters. So if you're setting up the problem in the fraction format, the second number has to be the divisor. So the whole number problem was 30 divided by 3. So that tells you 3 fourths goes in the 30 position, and 3 goes in the divisor's position. In the second type of division problem, you're looking for the number of things. For example, here, if you have three-fourth pounds of food and need one-fourth pound per dog, how many dogs can you feed? So setting it up in the multiplication format, three-fourths pound tells you that's the total. One-fourth pound per dog, so that's the value for one thing. So you're missing this number, so that tells you it's a division problem, the total divided by the other multiplier. And if you're not sure of the operation, think of an equivalent whole number problem. If you have 10 pounds of food and need 2 pounds per dog, how many dogs can you feed? So if you had 10 total, 2 for one dog, 2 for another, 2, how many times would that 2 repeat to get to 10? 5. So that tells you it's a division problem. It would be 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So again, order matters in division. If you set up the whole number problem in the fraction format, then 10 divided by 2, that tells you 3 fourths goes in the 10 position, 1 fourth goes in the 2 position. And that will set up the fraction division problem for you. That's uh, the end of our fraction word problem review. If you want more practice, you can go to mathgalaxy.com. The program allows you to practice word problems. You can choose one player and have the computer create the problems, or you can choose two player and one of them makes the problems, the other solves it. So here, make sure the second player is not looking and you can create an addition problem, subtraction problem, multiplication, or division problem. For example, let's choose multiplication. And let's say the value for one item, seven and a half, and the number of items, uh, two and a half. So here, a recipe calls for seven and a half pounds of carrots. How much carrots will you need for two and a half recipes? So the second player wasn't looking when the first player chose the operation. So the second player has to decide the operation. So let's think of a whole number equivalent. If a recipe calls for 10 pounds of carrots, how much carrots would you need for two recipes? Twice that. So that tells us it's a multiplication problem, and the answer should be 18 and 3 Okay, so again you get a visual representation. Okay. Let's say we wanted to do a division problem. Let's do the problem in reverse. Let's make 18 and 3 fourths the total and 7 and a half, one of the multipliers. So here, Alice took a trip of 18 and 3 fourths miles and used 7 and a half gallons of gasoline. How many miles per gasoline was that? So here we're given the total, the number of things, and ask for the number for one thing. Again, note that 
there are two names, so that makes it a multiplication or a division problem, the two names being miles and gallons. So let's think of the equivalent whole number problem. Alice took a trip of 10 miles and used two gallons of gas. How many miles per gallon was that? Well, 10 miles for two, therefore 5 miles for one. Per means one, so 5 miles on one gallon. So if the whole number problem is division, then the fraction problem is division. 18 and 3 fourths divided by 7 and a half should be 2 and a half. Okay, and again we have a visual representation. We have the total number of things the number of things to divide it into and looking for the value for one thing. The program has two modes. One talks you through problems step by step. The other only asks for a final answer. And when you exit the final answer mode, you get a score which you can also print. And you earn robots for doing problems which you can use in a maze game called the Labyrinth. There's also a riddles game that's like Wheel of Fortune, where the answers to problems are clues to riddles. And word jumbles is like the riddles game, except you're solving word jumbles. And there's also a game called Bridge the Swamp. This has been a review of fraction word problems. If you want more review and practice, you can go to mathgalaxy.com. Thank you for listening.